Chapter Two of Child's New Storybook. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Dr. Heather and By in Carrollton, Georgia, in October two thousand and eight. A Child's New Storybook, or Tales and Dialogues for Little Folks. I'll watch thy dawn of joys and mould thy little hearts to duty. I'll teach thee truths as I behold thy faculties, like flowers unfold, in intellectual beauty. CHAPTER Two, THE LITTLE GIRL AND THE SHELL When I went to visit a friend the other day, I saw a little girl with whom I was much pleased. She sat on a low seat by the fireside, and she held in her hand a pretty white sea-shell, faintly tinted with pink, which she kept placing against her ear, and all the while a settled calm rested upon her face, and she seemed as if she were listening to the holy tones of some loved voice. Then, taking it away from her ear, she would gaze upon it with a look of deep fondness and pensive delight. At last I said, "'What are you doing, my dear?' "'I'm listening to the whisper.' "'What whisper?' I asked. "'The whisper of the sea,' she said. "'My uncle sent me this shell, and a letter in which he said, "'If I placed it against my ear I should hear the whisper of the sea. And he also said, he would soon come to us and bring me a great many pretty things. And Mamma said, when we heard the whisper of the shell, we would call it Uncle Henry's promise. And so it became very precious to me, and I loved its sound better than sweet music. End of chapter 2